What in the world is it like to be a fullback in the free agent market like you were back in the day? I mean, I can't imagine it, what the hell that was like. So it's, I mean, it, it, I've had, you know, I've had such a unique career because my experience was definitely nothing like any of the other fullbacks um, because I, I actually had suitors. Like I, I had probably 12 different teams that were lining up and, and giving me offers. This, you know, back in 2017, the, my first go around as a free agent. Um, and I, I'm, I'm lucky to be in that position because, you know, most fullbacks, that, that's just not the case. They're happy to be on a roster. But um, I always tell anybody who's about to go into free agency who, um, you know, has had a good first four years that free agency is the best time ever because you just got everybody telling you how great you are, how bad they want you on your team. Uh, you start going through all these ideas with your family man what would it be like to live in this city what would it be like to live here oh this seems kind of cool i like what they've been doing you know like you go through all these scenarios um so for me it was it, it truly was a great experience and I, i'm so happy that it ended with me being in san francisco um i remember when my agent told me that they were interested i'm like man if you can just do anything to get them to just match the highest offer from anyone else yeah. i'm there because I loved the idea of moving to California, uh, and I loved what um, Kyle's offense was like. I had just watched them, you know, in the playoffs and, and the Super Bowl in Atlanta, saw what they did with their fullback then, and um, felt like I could really thrive in it. Well, let's talk about Kyle Shannon. I got Kyle use check here on the Rich Eisen Show. I, I'm going to ask something that you're going to have to go through your brain, but again, you, uh, to your mental Rolodex here and your memory, and but you're, uh, you're a Harvard man, so you'll be good with this. I, what's your favorite football conversation with Kyle Shanahan that made you go, okay, um, either it was early on, like I'm in a good spot, or you're, you're now several years in, you, you talk the same language, and uh, what he was telling you turned out to be exactly what happened on the field later on that week. You got a good story for me on that front, Kyle Juszczyk? The thing is, like, I feel like I have – so many football stories of Kyle. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, number one, if you sit in his team meetings, you you are just blown away by the football knowledge and just just what he teaches the entire room. Like every day, it's cool now that um, we brought uh, Christian McCaffrey in because you know he hasn't been around this. I've been around it for like seven years now, so you get kind of used to it. But he sits next to me in the team meeting and you know, Kyle will finish up and he'll just look at me. He'd be like, dude, I could do this all day. This is incredible. He just went through 22 people on the field and told you exactly what their assignment was, how they're supposed to do it, how this guy being out of gap leads to the next guy, um, you know, opening up a hole. So number one is, is team meetings are just so much fun. And just if you're a football nerd, like, you could sit in there for hours and you never get bored. It, it, it truly is something special. Um, I've definitely had a lot of conversations like in game about, you know, Hey, like we're going to run this play to set up something else. I'm blanking on a, a good okay. um, exact example of my, my own case, but I, I can point one out. Um, and there's videos of this, of uh, we're about to run. It, it's just like a branch route. It's like an eight yard out. And um, right before the play, he tells the ref, he's like, hey, Kittle has an eight-yard break, eight yard route that he's going to break out on in the NFC Championship game against the Green Bay Packers. And he's like, the defender has outside leverage. He's going to grab George when he breaks out. Just be ready for it. And literally, like, seven seconds later, it, ha it plays out exactly how he said. Ref grabs the flag, throws it. And it's just like he just, he just called a shot in the NFC Championship, and he, he does that just on a regular basis. Like in installs during the week, he'll tell you how the defense is going to react, and you go out there on Sunday, and then and it plays out just that way. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free.